up guys it's your one and only tough bills coming at you guys with another video this video is going to be part two of the muffle box back there and which I'm going to show you guys bits and pieces of pieces of the rest of the build but in this in the end I'm going to show you guys how she actually came out so make sure you guys stick around because this girl turned out well like way well than what I thought and she even sounds good so let's go ahead and show you guys this all right well YouTube well as you guys see I finally drilled out the hole for the negative wire this one wasn't supposed to be that big but I think it'll be fine cause it's gonna sit flush this one's completely round and then we finished this finished caulking and all of that so I know that it's gonna be 100% safe everything is fully caulked and now I have the carpet which is gonna definitely cover it up and it's gonna look amazing I think I'm pretty sure but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the carpet on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with the carpet on and then we'll come back and I'll show you how we're wiring our speakers for these two here and then after that is done then it's all about getting it into the car, testing it out, making sure both speakers are working, and it sounds amazing. So, let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Let's do it! Alright, guys, well, it is Sunday morning, and I'm speaking of morning. Alright, so we finally got the carpet on the box. As you can tell, it actually makes it look a lot more better. A lot more. I chose to use staples, but also all of this stuff that you're seeing on the board right now is actually wood chips. It's all over my floor, but it'll be vacuumed. And when there's our two wire connectors right here. That's where the wires are going. And this guy did the wiring for all of around here. We're gonna figure out something maybe tomorrow or something because we have to. Um, we still have to plug in the power and the ground which will be done inside the car and then I got the RCA's to do and the little turn up knob box but other than that the box is pretty much over and done with and you can see a little bit of uh, all of the nice carpet work now I'm not no more any less more professional than anybody else but I think this box turned out pretty professional what do you think? I think it came out pretty good. It came out a lot better than I thought. And alright guys, so now we are finally here. As you can tell, the window is very dirty. So we gotta get that clean before we stick the, the horsepower to the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap me up this little... Paper towel is fine, you know. I usually use 91% rubbing alcohol. Why? because it takes everything off. Now, this is the part where you have to remember where to stick it. What? Go ahead and grab a little wet cloth. And they're pretty thick stickers, so you really don't have to worry about them moving anywhere when you're dabbing it with water. But mine is pretty much dabbed. I actually over dabbed it, I over killed it. Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start it out. And there she is guys. Ten horsepower. Right there. Alright. Alright, so guys, I woke up this morning and I got this package after I came back home. I opened it, so 
What you get from the Mustang Colt is a VIP access to pretty much everything. They do all of their stuff right here. You can pause and take a minute to look at that. And I also got my two Mustang Colt stickers, which each one does 10 horsepower, guys. 10 horsepower. So I put one on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on with you guys. So let's do this. All right, here you guys go. So if you guys can imagine how loud that is, and it is bumping hardcore music, and I can feel the wind that comes out of here, cause it's really powerful, cause this hole right here is way too big, but let me know if you guys think I should upsize the hole, so that way I don't ruin my speakers back here, cause they're bumping out a lot, and I don't wanna blow these yet, but that's that. Oh shit, my window got dark. They are now tented, guys. 5% all around. So that makes me more comfortable with my ride. And also, I don't have to see you jackasses with the fucking high-ass bulbs shining right through to me, man. I'm always trying to look at my rearview mirror and the next thing I see is these big-ass headlights being thrown at me. So, yeah, I'm glad. I mean, it's not a Mustang, guys, but this car is actually coming together. And also, I also want to say thank you, Mike, by the way, if you're watching this video. I am so excited, and I definitely cannot wait to get that RS fin on this girl. I think she's going to look good. So, you guys, I have plenty more content coming out for you guys. Just make sure you guys stick around, because when I get that wing, everything's set in stone. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that previous video. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of something that I got done and I was able to tell you guys that, so that made me feel a lot more better. I wanted to take you guys there and show you guys the shop and these guys are actually really, really good. Um, I've had no problem with my window tent at all uh, on the first car. This car was done by a different guy and the only thing that I seen was just like one bubble and that's it. But I do want to take the time once again at this end of this video right now is I'm thanking Mike. Dude, I am so thankful for like you being one of my prescribers, man. You definitely went out there and you know you, you make these things for a living and I'm, I appreciate that. But seeing the prices of them, they're freaking outrageous and I don't want to stick a big old wing on it. I just want a little wing. And that's what the RS wing is to me. It's a little wing and it's gonna look super, super good on this car. And uh, yeah, I just can't thank you enough, man. I really do appreciate it. And when it does come, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and probably throw that on with you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Well, this pretty much includes this part of the video, guys. I hope you guys once again enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead and smack that like button. And if you guys didn't like it, then uh, I love haters. Give me some of that thumbs down. You can always leave a comment in the section down below, folks. And I will be in the next video. See you later. Peace.